everyone, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to create this ombre butterfly card. First, we'll start with a piece of white cardstock and our big scallop die. You'll notice on the back of the die, I've marked the center. That'll help me center the die on the paper. Line up the edge of the die to the edge of the paper and secure with low tack tape. There we go. And then cover with the B plate and run through the die cut machine. See, the center mark on the die worked like a charm. Nice and centered. Now for the sentiment, we'll be using one from our Take Flight stamp set. Hold up the sentiment in Versifying Deep Lagoon. And stamp it right in the lower right hand corner. Perfect. Now we'll use our lacy butterfly die. Place it so it nestles nicely around the sentiment. Make sure you leave enough room for the second butterfly and run through. Don't forget to save that butterfly. Now place the second butterfly in the top left corner, making sure that you're not cutting into the first butterfly or over the edge. And try to leave at least a sixteenth of an inch between the butterflies. And then run through. To add a little bit more color to this card, I'm adding purple and pink paper behind the cut butterflies. Place the pink paper under the top butterfly and mark where the paper overlaps the second butterfly and trim that part out. Do the same for the purple. Now once we have those two papers trimmed out, we're going to use glue stick on the back. And take care not to tear the paper. Now place the purple paper behind the butterfly and adjust as needed. And the same goes for the pink butterfly. Add a little glue stick. Careful not to tear the paper and place the pink paper so it covers the butterfly. Perfect. Looks pretty good. Now let's assemble the card. Take a four and a quarter by eleven inch piece of yellow cardstock and fold it in half. I'm using my seam roller to get a really nice crease. A little glue stick on the back of the white paper. And this card is looking pretty good as it is. And I think it'll look even better with butterflies, don't you think? For the ombre butterflies, we're using spun sugar, mustard seed, and spiced marmalade. I'm using the color box stylus to add the colors with a different sponge tip for each color. First the mustard seed in the center. Now 
then I'll change my tip and use the spice marmalade just outside the yellow. And I'm going to make sure that I slightly overlap that yellow to get that ombre look. And then finally, I'll use my pink tip and add the spun sugar. Right to the edges, overlapping into the orange a bit. Just pat, pat, patting it on. So I don't tear the delicate butterfly. And that looks pretty good. Now let's do the second butterfly. For the second butterfly, we're going to be using Marvy ink this time. Caribbean blue. Pale green and deep lilac. We'll use a sponge tip specifically for the green and we'll add the pale green to the center of the butterfly. Just pat, pat, pat that color on. And then we'll change sponge tips and use the blue for the next color, slightly overlapping the green. And then finally, I'll change sponge tips and sponge on the purple. Just pat, pat, patting it on the edge. I'm going to go light on this color. I know that I'll be able to add more if I need to. I love how pretty this looks, so soft and pastel. And I guess that's almost about it. Now let's add them to the card. Use strong double-sided tape and just place it in the center of the butterfly. The center of the butterfly is a little thin, so you may have to trim your tape down to fit And a little bit of this tape goes a long way. Make sure it's pressed down really well. And then we'll add the blue, green, and purple butterfly to the top of the purple butterfly base. And then the yellow, orange, and pink butterfly to the pink butterfly. Now let's add some bling. This particular pack of rhinestones has three different sizes. So I'm going to use three of the big, Three of the medium, and then three of the small. I'm liking how this looks. 
And I think I want the colors of the butterflies to be a little bit darker. I'm loving that sparkle. Who doesn't love a little bling? Now let's add that extra color. I'll use my purple sponge tip. Put my finger behind the butterfly so I don't get it on the white card. And just darken up the edges just to give it a little bit more contrast. Do the same very carefully for the center. And the Caribbean blue in the middle, just to blend it in, push in some dimension. And I love it. I think it looks really great. Our ombre butterfly card. I hope you give it a try. Have a great day.